What's good YouTube man welcome back for another video with your boy Mikey man So for today's video we back again with a brand new reaction for your boys man So for today's video we checking out something different bro We checking out the war in the Bronx OGZ versus YGZ versus Sepside You feel me? I, see, I really don't know anything about this people bro I don't know anything about this I'm guessing this is a gang related activities going on in the Bronx You know what I'm saying? And if you guys, you guys don't know, but my cousin, my cousin lives in the Bronx. One of my cousins, like one of my close family cousins, he lives in the Bronx. We always go down there to see him. I, mean, I used to hear stories about how the Bronx used to go, man. The Bronx, I heard the Bronx was one of the craziest places out there, you feel me? So yeah, we're about to check this out, man. If you're new to the channel, make sure to drop a like, subscribe to the channel. And if you're watching this video for the first time and you see a little red button, that means you're not subscribed to the channel, bro. Stop being lazy. Without further ado, let's get started with today's video, man. Let's get it! The Bronx is a wild place. It's the borough with the most crime and is well known for gang activity. The Bronx drill sound is on the rise and is fueling the deadly war between Ooh. three gangs. Well, that's, that's the guy I just reacted to, bro. That's K Flock. K Flock is in the gang, bro. He looked like a gangster, but I didn't know he was in the gang, bro. Gang activity. The Bronx drill sound is on the rise and is fueling the deadly war between three gangs. The OGs, okay. the YGs, okay. and Seb side. Let's get straight into this crazy beat. Brooklyn was getting attention for its drill scene, but the Bronx is coming with a whole new sound that's starting to make waves. K Flock is one of the hottest rappers from the Bronx right now, racking up millions of plays on songs like Being Honest and PSA. Yeah. Bronx drill may have the same bass lines and hard flow as Brooklyn and UK drill, but it has its own unique sound that's influenced by classic New York hip hop. Most of the beats have classic samples laced in with distorted 808s that gives the music a different vibe than drill from other areas. K Flock has been riding away with his new sound and has been building a buzz over the past few months. But his come up ain't just been all success. He also suffers from the pain and loss that comes with the street life, losing many friends to gun violence. K Flock hopped off the curb at a young age and was on the block at like 12 years old. He started rapping because of his homie Dougie B, who's also a rapper. Why did his parents let him go out there like that at 12 years old? How did he end up on the streets at 12, 12 years old? 12 years old. When I was 12 years old, I was watching I was watching Ben 10 and some other cartoons on TV, bro. I was not worried about outside. I was not worried about getting involved in gang activities or something like that. Hey, I understand that. Everybody is raised differently. He was outside every time, I was inside all the time. You feel me? But dang, where was his parents at? Or maybe he was not raised with a dad or, or he did not have parents. You never know, bro. Everyone is raised different, like I said, you feel me? So I'm not really I'm not really judging on nothing, you know what I'm saying? And it's been featured on multiple tracks. K Flock's first official track was a remix of the 22 G song, Licky Gang Freestyle, which he titled FTO. 22 G's then gave K Flock a shout out in a recent interview showing love to the Bronx drill movement. In August 2021, he remixed Siggy Black's song, Dishonest, and called it Being Honest. That track quickly racked up millions of views and earned him a feature from G Herbo. There's also rumors that he recently signed a seven figure deal and he's in a good position to take over the Bronx rap scene. But behind all of K Flock's success is a deadly war that involves his own family members. He's from a blood set around East 187th Street in a hood known as Seb Side. Seb's side is made up of Mac Baller Brims and Sex Money Murder, and they cool with the rolling 80s Crips. Seb's side beats with other gangs in the area, including the OGs, or Original Goons, and the YGs, or Young Gunners. At first, these two was the same gang and controlled a few different projects around Cortland Ave, not far from Seb's side. But one of the founders of the YGs crossed over another top member, so the dudes in his hood split off to form the OGs. Today, the YGs are one of the most hated gangs in the Bronx, and they beef with almost everyone. One of the, one of the most hated gangs in the Bronx, and they beef with almost everyone. One of the YG's main rappers, named D-Thang, is K-Flock's blood cousin. The two Wait. rappers... 
dissing each other back and forth. Wait, why? Why? They're blood cousins. That means, bro, that means K Flux uncle, which is K Flux dad's brother, is the 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 Tang's son. I don't know if you guys know what I'm trying to say, but like they're blood cousins. That means they have the same uncle, the same dad. Not the same dad, but same uncle and like back and forth, bro. So that means D Tang's dad and K Flux dad are brothers. And they're beefing from two different gangs. Oh my god, bro. Mom. D thanks shot the whole hood by dropping a Chicago style drill track called Talking Facts, where he disrespects dead ops from damn near every gang the YG's beef with. But the beef ain't start with rap. Okay, bro. That means I have to check that song out next. That's the next song I'm gonna check out. Yeah, huh? with multiple murders, followed by threats and music and on social media. In July 2021, a 19-year-old rapper who went by the name Ty Swish was shot in the head in the lobby of his apartment building. He ran outside after getting shot, but had been hit in the eye and quickly collapsed. A family friend and her two kids found him unconscious outside the building. He was rushed to the hospital, but he was dead at the scene. Witnesses say the gunman fled in a dark-colored four-door sedan, but was never identified. Friends and neighbors said Ty Swish was a good kid who never got in trouble. But he was allegedly from Sex Money Murder, and they would quickly even the score for his death. A few days later, 13-year-old Jerry and Elliot was chased down and killed outside the Angels Cafe in the Belmont neighborhood of the Bronx. Man. Jerry and just graduated from... They killing kids, bro. They are killing kids to make up for something. Oh my God. Junior High, it was turning 14 later that month. But even though he was young, he already claimed to be from the rolling 80s Crips. He had already got arrested eight times for robbery and assault and spent time in juvie. A friend of Jerry. At 14 years old? Eight times at 14 years old? Wait, when he was 10? No. Said the Crips put him on when he was 10 years old? 10? 10 years old? Oh my God. She tried to warn him about the lifestyle, but he ain't listened. The murder was captured on surveillance footage and showed Jerry walking down the street with a friend. A black sedan is seen driving up alongside him and coming to a stop. A mad shooter then hops out and shoots at both of them. His friend ran away, but Jerry falls and then crawls into a local cafe. He got shot in the legs and the chest and was rushed to the hospital, but later pronounced dead. Police think Jerry's death was payback for killing Ty Switch. They don't know if he was a killer, but they believe he was there at the time of the murder. Just a few hours after Jerry got chipped, the ops got their revenge and a 16 year old got killed and police think it was a payback hit. On Sunday, July 11th, a 16 year old rapper named Rod G's was shot while getting into an Uber. Rod G's was from the 800 YG's and the shooting is believed to be retaliation for the murder of Jerry and Elliot. Rod G supposedly made fun of Jerry and death on social media right after it happened and the get back was immediate. He was on his way to the studio and two men on scooters pulled up and started dumping shots into his Uber. The whole thing was captured on the driver's dash cam and quickly went viral on social media. The rapper got shot once before, but survived. His mom said he was trying to turn his life around and was focusing on his music career. But he didn't get that chance and instead became another casualty in this deadly war. But the case is still active and they're both minors, so there ain't too much public info available. With so many deaths on all sides, OG's and Seth's side was really heating up. On August 16th, K Flock dropped the track, Is He Ready, where he disses multiple rival rappers, including his own cousin, D Thang. In the first verse, he says, Boy, ask my ops, it could get ugly. I could do shh, like Ice did Sunny. This is referring to the classic film, Paid in Full. In the movie, Mish, one of the main characters played by Makai Pfeiffer, has a younger brother who gets kidnapped for ransom. Mish tries to get the money, but he gets killed by Rico, played by Cameron, who steals the drugs to pay Sonny's ransom. Sonny gets killed as a result, and come to find out, he was set up by his own uncle, Ice, who was mad at Mish for kicking him out of the house. So in this bar, K Flock sends a shot directly to his own cousin, D Thang, and lets him know he's not above setting him up. The song was big in New York, and even got played on Hot 97. So, you can probably guess how the ops felt about this. D Thang quickly hopped on social media and gave his thoughts on the bar, saying, Can't wait to see Auntie now. A few weeks later, another Rolling 80s member who was affiliated with K Flock got murdered broad day. The victim was 16 year old rapper Nas Rolla. 
He was killed after two men hopped out of a Honda Accord and popped him in the head and chest and set aside hood. Police said that Nas Roller had a long criminal history and got arrested 18 times already, including 10. 18 times? Bro, not one, not two, not three. 18 times. Oh my God. Dating back to May 2017. He was recently arrested for gun possession and was fighting three other open gun cases. After his death, D thing would hop on Instagram and sneak this Nas Rolla, who was his cousin K Flock's right hand man, suggesting he might have got set up. Right around the same time Nas Rolla was killed, D thing dropped Talk Facts, which is pretty much the Bronx version of Who I Smoke, where he disses all his ops, both alive and dead. On the track, he samples the song Somebody That I Used To Know by Gatye and throws a sub at a different op in almost every bar. Some disses include Dougie got shot, but he's still in recovery. Sending shots at K-Flock's homie, Dougie B. He also says, come on, CJ, you see me when I ain't see you. You ain't even make a move. So how the f when you see me, you gonna shoot? In this bar, he takes shots at another rival rapper from Portland who dissed D-Thing on the track Kidnap Who after D-Thing said he was gonna kidnap Booba Savage, who was also featured on the track. Later, he raps, Jiggy Man, aka Shot X, dumbass got hit. That's word on my mother, they never do shit. Here, he's talking about a rapper named Shot X, who's from the OGs and known to go by the name Jiggy Man. So, it looks like Bronx Drill is following the same pattern as Chicago and the UK. Rappers diss each other in songs and follow it up with real violence. What's really crazy is that a lot of them are under 18 and still in high school. So really, they don't fully understand the consequences that come with the lifestyle they live in. Hopefully, they're paying attention to how hot it's getting in O Block and they cool it down before it's too late. But with so many lives lost on both sides, it's hard to see an end in sight. That's crazy, bro. That's crazy, bro. That's crazy. But anyway, man, that's it for today's video, man. That's it for the war in the Bronx. OGZs versus YGCs versus Seth. So, yeah, man, that's it, man. Let me know in the comment section what you guys think. Make sure to drop a like, subscribe to the channel. And without further ado, I'll catch you guys in the next video. It's your boy Mikey. Peace. Bell say ain't no beat. I'm in the woods, don't Eminem beat. When the nigga spin on, I know get feet. Smoking on sides, I ain't smoking no cheese. No, her minutes are quick. Do not let anybody in your life tell you there is nothing that you cannot do because all you need to do is put in the time and the effort and you are unstoppable okay whatever it is that you want to do i want you to take a second and think about what do you aspire to become you want to you want to become a youtuber like cory kitchen you want to uh be a singer dancer it doesn't matter all you need is time and effort and you are unstoppable